Hey, and 102 Online students, Professor Berninger coming at you here. I'm gonna take a look at uh, one of the poems you guys uh, wrote quite a bit about on the discussion boards. That would be the, da -da -da, I go back to May, 1937. Uh, this might be, I don't know, man, this poem, this might be the best one we have all semester. And you guys got pretty intense with it, which I'm impressed with, very impressed with. Um, if a poem like this doesn't provoke something in you, uh, you just got to let it get inside you better, you know. It's a real what if poem, right? What if, what if, what if, what if I didn't exist? And then, boy, you can just about tip over. Um, I think Courtney's still reeling from it out there. Hit hit you pretty pretty hard, Courtney. Um, yeah, what if my, our parents didn't get married? Well, you wouldn't be you, and then, uh, you know, then who would be with uh, whoever you're with, and et cetera, et cetera, and who else would be in this class, right? So it gets a, it, that rip, it's the butterfly effect, right? A butterfly uh, flaps its wing in Hawaii and makes just a slight shift that ripples through the whole world. Anyway, um, so yeah. So let's work through this one. I go back to May 1937. I the narrator of the poem, I see them standing at the formal gates of their colleges. So probably one of them goes to an all-male college, the other to an all-female college. I see my father strolling out under the ochre sandstone arch. So strolling is very casual, very nonchalant. The red tiles glinting like plates of blood. People, there are a lot of things that are red, right? Glinting like rose petals glinting like the evening sun there are a lot of things that are red sharon olds chose plates of blood which evokes violence right post violence behind his head i see my mother with a few light books by light books she means not a light book in weight like our my poems book but a book that doesn't have a lot of in intellectual or emotional heft uh, this is a very heavy book, right? Even though it's very light physically. So she's saying her, her father's very casual, strolling about. The mother is not really interested in deep thoughts. She carries light books. Standing at the pillar made of tiny bricks with the wrought iron gate, still open behind her. The gate is still open behind her. She can go back through the gate. This does not have to happen. As sword tips black in the May air, there are a lot of things you can compare a water iron gate to. Sword tips, then we had plates of blood earlier. The vibe here is getting a little violent. They are about to graduate. They're about to get married. They are kids. They're dumb. All they know is they are innocent. They, I think they're like young Goodman Brown before he goes into the woods. They are innocent. They would never hurt anybody. I want to go up to them and say, stop, don't do it. She's the wrong woman. He's the wrong man. You're going to do things you cannot imagine you would ever do. You're going to do bad things to children. You're going to suffer in ways you never heard of. You're going to want to die. Holy cow. Imagine somebody comes up to you when you're with your boyfriend or girlfriend and says, don't do it. You're going to want to die. By the way, this, if, if, this is not a good poem to read at a wedding. I want to go up to them there in that late May sunlight and say it, her hungry, pretty blank oh. face turning to me, her pitiful, beautiful, untouched body, virgin. Her arrogant, his arrogant, handsome, blind face turning to me, his beautiful, untouched body, virgin. But I don't do it. I want them to live. I take them up like the male and female paper dolls and bang them together at the hips like chips of flint as if to strike sparks from them. I say, do what you're going to do, and I'll tell about it. And of course, her telling about it is the poem, right? This poem is sort of about itself. This is her telling about it. This is her way of saying, yeah, my parents did bad things to each other. My parents did bad things to kids. But you know what? By telling about it and writing about it, it's going to be okay, right? It's going to be okay. 
on another, another level, this poem is about our relationship, your relationship with your parents' relationship. And a lot of you wrote uh, in the discussion boards that, you know, you had pretty rough childhoods. Um, and I'm glad that you're in the process of, of overcoming that by getting an education, right, in uh, reading poetry. This poem is about your relationship with your parents' relationship. Not your parents, your parents' relationship. And the biggest influence uh, you have in your relationship world, sorry to break the news to you, is the relationship of the people you grew up with, usually your parents, right? Uh, we tend to recreate the relationship our parents had, or again, the people we grew up around. We tend to recreate that, um, whether it's cold and distant, violent, loving and sweet, or a mix of all of those, we tend to recreate it. And you have to know this, people, because once you know it, once you know it, you feel yourself recreating your parents' relationship or parts of it. If it's good, embrace it, go with it. If it's bad, don't do it. You're going to want to die, don't do it. So knowledge, knowledge, knowing we tend to recreate the relationship we grew up around can help us only recreate the best parts and not recreate the bad parts. Um, so a very powerful poem, um, very powerful poem. Um, it really hit, I know I hit a raw spot with some of you. Um, my parents were happily married for uh, a long time, I think 53 years before my father died at age 83. Um, but there, it wasn't perfect. It wasn't the perfect marriage and parts of it I recreate and parts that I um, uh, think, well, maybe I, I should do it, things a little differently, but I could do a lot worse than recreate their marriage. But we don't all have that, right? We don't all have that advantage that I was born with. And uh, the I, the narrator of this poem, certainly didn't. And she's telling about it. She's making poetry out of it. And that's going to get her through it.